Our ethos is based in the Forest School principles because we're an accredited Forest School provider. So the Forest School ethos and the principles of Forest School underpin everything we do. So that's what's behind our settings and the way we work. During the different seasons, we need to protect um, different growth within the seasons. In the winter, we try not to go to too many areas um, on the same day, just to protect it from wear and tear. Um, for example, under the trees, the shrubs, we rotate our um, sections around. So we'll go to different areas around the park just to keep that safe. During the spring, with the spring growth and the bulbs, we'll try to avoid their areas. We'll come and look at them, um, try and nurture and look after them. Um, but just keep rotating again. The same with fires as well. If we have a fire, we'll go to different areas um, so we're not upsetting our environment. With the rope swings in the park, we like to rotate them around with different trees to protect the trees, to protect the undergrowth, just so that it can grow back. Uh, when can you play with some of the natural things like the flowers or the blossom or something like that? Are you ever allowed we to? We want her the flowers. No. Uh, yeah. Okay, where, when can you pick them up? Because I know you do a little bit. So when is it okay to pick up some of the blossom or the flowers? When, when, when they fall down. Um, we will take wood from the park, but we're cautious not to take too much. Um, after we've had storms, we'll come and collect little bits of storm damage from the poplar trees mainly um, for our crafts. We'll also um, use different um, bits of wood and natural materials within the seasons. We'll take a little bit, but again, we'll leave enough to sustain the environment and look after our park. We, we actually pick up litter and we also use, we also use Brody's grammar. So at the moment we're litter picking the park. We're keeping um, the park clean for the spring clean for keeping Scotland tidy. We have a young boy that joined us in December who was really concerned about the litter in the park and the pond. Um, so we're cleaning the pond. Um, as well as cleaning the pond, we're looking after the pond with the swans. We have eight swans that live on the pond. So we constantly clean the pond for the pond life. Um, and the children at the moment over the next two weeks are cleaning the park, litter picking the park. Um, and looking after their environment. So fundamentally it's about the environment that we work in and it's about building resilience with the children and developing their awareness because we're trying to educate the children to be the future guardians of their environment. So with this being a public park it's particularly relevant here because they come into the park with their families all the time, they are part of the communities, they're going to be part of the community growing up and for them to feel an attachment to this place is really important.